Um, first of all, the company was started in 1993 by my father um, as primarily concrete products manufacturers. Um, in 1997, the company moved into the development of real estate. Um, it quickly gained notoriety for developing uh, projects on time and on budget. Um, after that, of course, I, uh, I, I founded the DevTracker Plus, which is uh, geared towards the higher end of the market. Um, we did well as well, gained notoriety again, and then not too long after that, um, we acquired a majority stake in one of the largest construction companies uh, um, in Ghana. Um, since then, we've been just uh, building uh, real estate after real estate. But I, th I think our unique uh, uh, selling point for us is the fact that we like to take a market-orientated approach um, and design something that the client wants and makes it so much easier to sell. And, you know, real estate is about location, 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 right? So over and above location, the next thing for our market is what they want, look and feel, and pricing. And, and I think that's been our unique selling point. The high-end um, property market is, is, is uh, underpinned by rental from, from the expat community for the most part. Now, prior to us getting into the higher end part of the market, um, most, most, most pr projects or most uh, two beds, for example, sold at a minimum of half a million. Um, this is around 2010, 2011. So what we did was we decided, okay, we'll get into the high end of the market, target uh, our client being the same expat uh, uh, end user, however, we will give you slightly smaller units that allows you to purchase uh, that same two bedroom that the investor, would be investor, who is 90% of the time Ghanaian, would purchase for $250,000 as opposed to a half a million. The company that will now rent for the expat is happy to rent a smaller unit at a lower price point because it hits the bottom line, right? So that's, that's, that's one example of what we're able to do for the investor buyer.